Hello everyone, in this video we will see different tools in the education domain in ERP Next. So let's begin. Now let's say that you want to perform the following actions, that is you want to enter scores in assessment sheet all at once or let's say you want to mark attendance collectively, that is that also all at once you want to mark attendance of different students in one place and then let's say you also want to enroll a group of students into a program that is you want to do a program enrollment of um, different students without going into like each of the different separate students doc type so what I mean by all this is let, let's go so here you can see that we have an assessment result so one way to do that is to like create a new assessment result and then add assessment plan and then select a different student like let's say I select this assessment plan um, this one consider so what I'll do is I'll have to like select a student now and then each time I'm selecting a student I have to like go here enter and this way I have to do for let's say there are 50 students so I'll have to do this way for 50 students by going each of their into each of their docu doc type and then creating a separate for them so in order to do it in an easy way we have a tool that is assessment result tool so let's have a look at it okay let's see so we have this of the different tools first we have attendance tool which we can use to mark all the attendance and then we have assessment result tool and then we have a student group creation tool that is you can simply create a group of students that is add all the students in a group collectively and then you also have a program enrollment tool which I just explained a bit about it and then we have a course scheduling tool now this we have seen this before like course scheduling tool it's so very simple it's like a calendar you just have to like select a date and all that all right so the, right now these are four are really important that is student att attendance assessment result student group creation as well as program enrollment tool so let's have a look into okay now students attendance tool have also been covered before so I won't go into much detail it's just about like marking attendance of different students at once that's it and then we have assessment result tool so let's go have a look into it okay now what I'll do is I'll select an assessment plan and it will automatically select the this particular group and what will it do is it will import or fetch all the students who are there so right now there's just one student enroll in this stu social studies group so there can be like 15 or 20 students and then what you can do is simply go here and enter the results and you can just submit it that's that's it it's pretty much straightforward and very simple so I hope you're clear with this all you have to do is select an assessment plan and then it will automatically fetch the student group and all the students will be imported over here and you'll just have to enter the scores all right so next tool we have is a student group creation tool now let's say you want to create a student group so you'll just select this and you'll select academic year let's say this one and you'll select a program I'll select this one okay and get courses so you, you got all these different courses now what you can do is you can create a s s create a student group wait wait okay let's delete all this okay I'll just select one any one of that and we'll do it course and then I'll select a course here website module okay and then we have a batch ERP next and let's just name it as batch A and maximum strength 10 and then create student group so since there are no students present like since there are no students enrolled in this particular program so it is not creating a group but you need to do like program enrollment before creating a group so I hope you understood the purpose of the student group creation tool that is you can just create a student group collectively now all right let's go back and we have another one that is program enrollment tool let's have a look at it so what we can do is we can just directly enroll different students into the program so we'll select uh, get student from student applicant and then we will select the program in which one we in which we want to enroll them to so I'll select this one and let's select the academic year 
okay and then we'll just get students so again no students found so why is it saying that is because no students have been approved yet so that's why it is like giving this particular message so what it will do is like if there were students present with the status approved so what it would have done is it would have given like fetched all the students into this particular um, row over here that is student applicant and then student and then student badge name let's try doing with this one we'll see if we can get any okay uh, we got this two students over here for this particular ERP next training okay all right so this was the purpose of like program enrollment tool you directly enroll all the students at once and it's a pretty much easy way like instead of going into like each student applicant that is we have student applicant over here let's go this student applicant so instead of going into each student applicant I'll just convert it into list so it will what it will do is directly just enroll with the program enrollment tool you can enroll them collectively okay so what you have to you have this actions over here once you approve okay next step is always to like enroll so if you want to enroll like if you do this way you have to go in each doc type and then do this step so instead of doing that the previous one is better using the tool is better all right let's go back and see what else is left so we saw this we saw this we saw this okay now these um, these two have we have seen this before the score scheduling tool is simply just uh, scheduling the uh, I told you like it's like a calendar you just have to add a course start date and then end date and then from time and you have to select an instructor as well as the room where the course will be taken place okay next we have is uh, attendance this is also like collectively marking of the attendance so let's do this student group let's select the student group this one okay date let's select today's date okay and we have one student over here so what I'll do is I'll just mark the attendance and done this is how it is very much straightforward and easy to do so I hope you understood all these different tools that is student attendance assessment result group creation and program enrollment tool and thank you so much for watching Bye.